That's good. It's good evening to all. This evening, I'm here again outside of all the Innocence Primary School and Church. This is situated along Ashford, St. Thomas. Once again, this is the Holy Innocence Anglican Church. This is situated along the way to Harrison's Cave and West Mahogany in a place called Ashford. Ashford is spelled A Y S H F O R D. Holy Innocence Church was established in 1838 and dedicated in 1839. It was built on lands given by the owners of Ashford Plantation. As I said before, Ashford is spelled A-Y-S-H-F-O-R-D and this is the route to Harrison's Cave on West Mahogany. And Harrison Cave runs all underground here as well. All under here is Harrison's Cave. As it is said that the pipes from the, or the, the organ from Holy Innocence Church by Brett when there is service when there is service at Holy Innocence Church the pipe, the organ vibrates into the cave so all on the ground here is Harrison's cave and Holy Innocence is the final resting place of my ancestors from my mother's side they're all there to rest in this churchyard. This is my great grandmother, my aunts, my cousins, my great grandfather, and other relatives all there to rest at Holy Innocence Church, Holy Innocence Anglican Church. And the church has two cemeteries, one in the churchyard and one on the opposite side. The one in the churchyard is filled now, so they have to bury the people on the opposite side. Holy Innocence Primary School where my aunts and cousins and great grandparents received their education. This school was started with some great teachers, such as Mr. Lester Vaughan, the man who wrote the National Anthem, I mean the National Pledge in 1973, and also Mr. Rapodash and others who, and a lady, a lady, lady named Miss Ossie Springer, all played a part in educating some of our Barbarian children. Most of them who have gone on now, gone to in glory. But they they their part in educating the country's children, especially the ones who are from the area. So Holy Innocent School caters to persons living in St. Thomas. In the other house, the Rational Hall. Port Well. Bridge View. And. Sturges. Lane Castle and Highland. This school will cater to those children living in those neighborhoods and from other neighborhoods as well. But do you want to get called? This school will cater to those children. Yeah. 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 All oh, here is Ashford Road, Ashford Long Road, and here's a place where you can take out goats and sheep and other stock. So in the churchyard, you can also see the belfry, which is this tall edifice next to the green building. The green building is the church social center, and the belfry is what is next door.
and I forgot to mention that this road here, this side road here, or the other road at the other end, can be referred to as the line. This is the road I would take you by the Brian's Road and where my Hall, St. Thomas. It's referred to as the line. Residents from St. Thomas, we're from St. Thomas, refer to it as the line. So looking back, Holy Innocent Church again, Holy Innocent Anglican Church, established in 1838 and dedicated in 1839, and it was one of the Bishop Colvis chapels of ease, built on land given by the owners of Ashford Plantation, and it was built in the shape of a cross. And it Harrison's cave runs all underground here as well. So it is said that the organ from the church vibrates into the cave. And St. Thomas, I'm in the center of the island. St. Thomas is in the center of the island. So there is no sea nor coastal in this parish. Along with St. George as well, the two landlocked parishes. Without any sea or coastal. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so this is the area where my family. My mother's side, original. And they all received their primary education here. And some of them attend church here, and some of them are laid to rest here. And the, they have a great aunt that attends church here. And you can see that the members of the church take good care of it. You can see the lawns are well manicured. The members take really good care of the church. Today is Thursday, 17th of February, 2022. And most Thursdays they have prayer practice here at the church. After about around six or so in the evening. Well, thank you guys for watching and have a blessed evening. So, I will close this video now. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Dan Rice Barbados Travel Vlogs on YouTube. And you can also comment, leave a comment as well, and let me know what you think about the video. Thanks for watching, and have a blessed evening.